Hello and welcome to This Week in Pizza for the week of June 3rd. I'm Daniel Lee Perea. So what do you do when billions of noisy, buzzing insects come crawling out of the earth and take over the entire East Coast? Caroline Fink of Red Hook, New York, turned lemons into lemonade, or rather, cicadas into pizza. Vast swarms of cicadas emerge in the Northeast every 17 years, but this year Fink was ready for them. She developed a recipe for cicada pizza. Starting with a store-bought crust, she added a little olive oil, sea salt, pepper, and ricotta cheese, along with steamed wild leeks and nettles. To top it off, she fried the cicadas in butter with garlic, salt, and red pepper, then baked the pie for 8 to 10 minutes. We're told that cicadas have a mild, nutty taste and can be substituted for shrimp in many recipes. One thing's for sure, they'll be cheap and easy to find this summer. Scientists say that the cicadas will outnumber humans by 600 to 1 during the peak of their invasion. Meanwhile, down in Arkansas, Eureka Pizza is taking advantage of all that deep south sunshine to reduce its electric bills and its environmental footprint. The nine-store chain recently installed 40 solar panels at one of its Fayetteville locations. The switch to solar could theoretically cut the store's yearly power bill by up to 50%. And although owner Rolf Wilkin initially paid out $40,000 for the panels, he said his actual costs, after federal tax credits and rebates from the local power company, could be more like $12,000. Known for its off-the-wall TV commercials and the slogan, The Official Pizza of Arkansas, Eureka Pizza may be the state's first solar-powered pizza operation. Well, this may not be every pizza fan's worst nightmare, but it's pretty close. A delivery driver in St. Petersburg, Russia, was caught on camera, picking his favorite toppings off a pie with his bare fingers just moments before delivering it to a customer. Surveillance footage shows the hungry driver whipping open the box, pinching off bits of the pizza, and popping them into his mouth. With impeccable timing, the driver eats his fill, closes the box, and slips it back into the hot bag just as the elevator door opens onto the customer's floor. A spokesperson for the driver's employer, a fast food chain called Two Coasts, later announced that the man had been fired. But the company also put their own positive spin on the controversy, boasting, our pizza is so tasty, even couriers cannot resist. Well, that's it for this week. Be sure to download the free PMQ app and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For This Week in Pizza, I'm Daniel Lee Perea.